And so you all going from this podcast, I'm telling you to just go. Dr. Seuss is telling you, just go. The Lord is telling you, just go. Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cartier. I am Dominic the Donkey. Uh-uh. We don't bring that song up in this house. <laughs> we do not talk about the the D D word. Yep. The Italian Christmas donkey, jingity chick. It is the worst Christmas song. It is, and I I I I, I, I tease you with it because um you don't like it, but I don't even remember it being in my repertoire. I don't know where it's from. Me neither. Italy. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, it can't be. There is a song that comes on B101. Um, for those of you who don't know, B101 is a local Philly radio station. It's that probably one of those national, you like, think? Um, no, not the number, but like, yeah, they're all national, yeah. like Jingle Ball, whatever, you know. Yeah. But um, it, every November to January, strictly Christmas music. And I have a, you know, this is like the one time of the year I listen to real radio. Because I, honestly, oh, yeah. I, I can't find a playlist on like Apple Music better than just the B101 mix. Not many commercials is great. Except for when Dominic the Donkey. There's a song on B101 that's just dogs barking. Yeah. I, I, I don't know if they're barking to drink. And not like woof, woof, woof. No, I know woof. you know. It's like real. <laughs> I know you know. I know what you're talking it's about. It's like real mm-hmm. dogs. Mm-hmm. I'll listen to that on repeat. Yeah. Before I listen to that Dominic guy. Yeah. It's all. E-aw, e-aw. Is that what you want to hear in the song? No. Yeah, anywhere. No. no. And this here is Frank looking great. Bow style number nine. Yeah. Yeah. Style number nine. When is Christmas? What? When is Christmas? Uh, the 25th? No, I mean. <laughs> Thanks. What's today? 17? It's going. 19, 20, Christmas 21, is on 22, Saturday. 24. Oh, it's on Thursday. No, it's on Friday. It's on Saturday. 24 oh it's on saturday so isn't that so funny we literally started the bows we, it'll be 12 bows of christmas when we're done oh really and we just did it so randomly just because of the or with our podcast three week yeah oh, that's fun well it's on the ninth day of christmas right the um, ninth day of bows. or does it go backwards yeah so it would be on the third fourth day of christmas I don't know, but this is the ninth bow, and he's going to have 12 bows at he's the end. 12 bows. It's a beautiful thing. Thank you, Frank, for being here with the red shirt underneath looking quite festive. But uh, how are we doing, guys? How was your week? We, we made it. We made it through another week. Happy birthday. Uh, I already forgot his name. Pope Francis? Yeah, but I was trying to think of his real name. Abrolio Ab- 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 or something? Oh, uh, yeah. Cardinal. Uh, yeah, I remember from two popes. Um. It's a Pope's birthday, our favorite guy on the planet. We should be having a birthday party for real. We should be having a birthday party for real. He's really accomplished in living to be 85. Yeah. Um, his predecessor retired at 85. Okay. Um, Benedict. Yeah. And no other Pope has lived this long except for Pope Leo, which was over really? 100 years ago. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I know what we're getting better in advancements in technology, but... Yeah, it's really surprising because of Corona and because of he had intestinal surgery. Well, he has the Lord in his side. Pope Francis, he, he has a lot of more things to do. We're not ready to see him go. No. I want to see him go to 185. <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah, we should all give one of our years mm-hmm. to Pope Francis. If a thousand of us do that, he'll live a long time. You're so good at math. I'd give one <laughs> I'd give one of my years to Pope Francis. Uh, one less like, never mind. Um... How's it going? It's Friday. It's a great day. It's the end of the week. I feel like when we start the week, we only do three podcasts a week. Before we start, it looks like such a, a hill to climb Yeah. to get to the third, to get the week over. Yeah. Not that we're rushing to have no. the week over, but anytime I feel like we're on Friday, it always almost feels unnatural to say, it's the last podcast of the week. It's like, wow, already? Yeah. But I guess that's a metaphor to life, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You always feel like the journey's tougher looking up than when you're looking down. And you're like, wow, look how far I've came yeah. in these two days. <laughs> and there's just something sweet about the that. The minutes were short. No, the podcasts were short, but the minutes were long. Something like that. There's something, something um, inspirational about that. Oh, I want, I'm watching back the podcast of the weeks that we've 
you know, the most recent ones. Yeah. Um, I did want to say something. We talked about the Sight and Sound Theater in Lancaster. We did. So great. And we went and we said, oh, the poor people who can't see it um, because you live too far away from uh, either Branson or Ronx. Remember, they told us there you can see it digitally right now. You can right? see it digitally. Yeah. Um. You can if you go on sightandsounds dot com. Um. There is they don't have a like a, their own streaming service that uh, you can watch the old plays. And believe me, you might be hearing this and say I'm not watching no play on on television. And you could be right. I thought that until I saw Hamilton. Right. Um. You know, I, I think that was a big breakthrough mm-hmm. in um recording um live theater live theater Mm -hmm. don't know if obviously you know this will be yeah we haven't seen it we haven't seen it on on a digital version but hey check it out and maybe i'll even i said on the podcast oh now i'm sad i missed i know jonah and the jesus story and the previous ones that they have had maybe i'll check them out maybe i'll be the little guinea pig guinea pig it's italian are guinea pigs from guinea isn't that New Guinea? Wait, what is New Guinea? I thought Guinea. Is I think New Guinea is a city. I thought in, New Guinea was in Africa. I thought Guinea was in Africa. Is it New Guinea? Isn't Guinea something mean to say to Italians? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what we're talking about, though. It's a place. Okay. Um. Yeah. Whatever. Uh. But. Yeah, so I'll check it out. I'll let you know. Um, Missed that play already. I know. It's funny, you know, when when you when you go to something. It was less. Yeah, because it was less. It was so good, right? But it's one of those things I think where you remember it being good, but you can't like try to like live it over. And it's like yeah, like name like sing one song. It's like I can't remember it, but I remember they're all good. Right, right. You remember the memory. Yeah. (sighs) I'm losing my memory. I'm getting to that age. I wanted to go to a a live walkthrough. Bible, a Christmas, not, but yeah, Bible, but the Christmas story thing tonight. I don't know. I Go to I'll, it. Get I don't know if I'll have, a, I'll have, what? Get some content so everyone can see oh, it. Oh, yeah. You have a job to do. But I have to find someone because um, you're preoccupied. You're preoccupied. You're pre, what's the word? Not preoccupied. preoccupied. No. Is it? Yeah. Or no, uh, prior pre- engagements. Yeah. I'm preoccupied. That's Preoccupied weird. is I'm occupied. Like, uh, I'm pre, I'm doing something else. Yeah, but it also means like, oh, like I can't think I'm preoccupied. But yeah, you're right. That would make yeah, sense. Yeah, I'm busy. Yeah. It's like a plate way of saying I'm busy. These scissors on my my devices are not making me happy. No. Um, Yeah, I think you should go. Um, If anyone wants to go, by the time I upload this, you'll, you'll probably be there. So. Yeah. Um, but I don't even know what it's, it, what it's called or anything. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> well, then I'm not putting any photos up for it. And uh, maybe on Monday you can discuss with us what happened even though we're not on on mondays you know what i mean but um yeah this weekend i, I think this is a big uh, obvious you said I'm preoccupied i'm doing some christmas things a little christmas party I, I think i've talked about it before i think this is like the big uh you know how thanksgiving before thanksgiving there's like events yeah that but i think this week or halloween you get halloween weekend which is the yeah. weekend before well, halloween that, that's new it's all new, but I think this is like the Christmas celebrating weekend. Yeah. Because Christmas, uh, I think it's such a, you know, very family oriented holiday. Mm-hmm. I was talking to my sister and she was asking, or was it my sister? I don't think it was. Um, what have you heard? <laughs> I've, said too, I've said too much. The day before Thanksgiving mm-hmm. is a huge unspoken uh, holiday because people for come around going out with friends because everyone's back in town right it's great to see it's one of the biggest a lot of like um restaurants and stuff they make a they make good a lot of money good good much money good a lot of money good a lot of money on that night and um whoever i was talking to was saying why is why isn't christmas eve eve like that okay the eve to christmas eve right and i said well you answered your own question right the equivalent to Thanksgiving Eve would be Christmas Eve, but Christmas Eve in its own right people is make a, it into something is a holiday, like a family holiday. Yeah. Still, you know, it's some... the feast of the seven fishes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, with that being said, that's the reason it's, it's not. You know what I was thinking about holiday Canadians, what? and what I was thinking about was we kept saying yesterday Italian Americans. Oh, that's Italian American. That's different. That's Italian American. Um, I'm wondering how similar are 
uh, Italian Italian Canadians to are is it like is it Italians who live abroad are a group or is like Italian Americans different than Italian Canadians? I don't think any Italian Italians live in Canada. I think it's more French. A lot of Cartier. Cartier. So if there's any out outliers, they probably just liars. <laughs> yeah. Just the, they probably just lump onto Listen, I have whatever a great idea. American Italians do. I have a great idea. It's all just, you know, monkey see, monkey do. If you want a drinking game, Italian is the word for Friday night. And you can, every, talk, every time we said it, you will be drunk before the show started. Just like those Italians. Yeah. No, I have an idea. This is such a good idea. What's this? You talked about Christmas Eve. I did. Christmas Eve, have a flea market Ooh. at night. Okay. Start your flea market at like six o'clock at night. All the stores close at like five o'clock at night, right? Have a flea market, put out a table and put out your stuff. Like, you know, a gold frog, a crystal egg, anything that you have, a, a leaf blower. Yeah. A normal flea market, as you know what a flea market is, you know, it's like yard sale, a garage sale, whatever people call it. Um, because what happens on Christmas Eve? The people who forgot to get something and need to get something or just got off work. And of course, everyone has closed because whatever, families. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it's just like a regular flea market would be on any Saturday at any time. In, yeah. In in um in nice weather, obviously, a lot of parts of the country would be very cold, and and it's it's strange and it's odd because you think I don't want to be running a flea market on Christmas Eve. I want to be eating my seven fishes, but some people don't. Yeah. You are providing a great service. You're making money, and what you thought like, who wants this old um I don't know what you know rocking chair. That's perfect. Yeah. A Christmas Eve flea market. I want people to get into it. It's a good idea. I feel like I could see, um, you know, foreigners doing that. Really? Well, because, you know, it, it, especially um, when I say foreigners, I mean anyone who like doesn't really celebrate Christmas. The it, world it, celebrates Christmas. I went to I went to a I went to a elementary school that was predominantly Jewish. Oh, Jew. that's not foreigners, Spencer. No. It's not Christians. OK. <laughs> Wait, what? No, I understand <laughs> that. But. I, I picked up some traditions. A huge tradition is Christmas Eve. They get the like uh, you get Chinese takeout. Oh yeah, I and think, it's like I think they even do it on Christmas Day, right? Yeah, maybe. But it's like I, I could I could see that as a a niche yeah, being but it's, filled. But I want it for people who celebrate Christmas, who need a Christmas present for Christmas morning. No, I understand that, but I'm saying oh, they're providing the service. Yeah, it, it, well, it, why couldn't the Christian do it? Because they're celebrating. But they're not. They're shopping. But all the stores have closed. But who's going to be? You want, you want me to set up on Christmas Eve? Yeah. What else are you doing? Celebrating. What is this celebrating you're talking about? I'm going to like open one present up early. I'm going to sing Christmas carols to my neighbors. I'm going to drink um, hot cocoa with. What an interesting, an un, 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 unfamiliar life <laughs> you were. That's you pretty. Have. That's so traditional. No, I'm saying that uh, you do that. Maybe this year. Okay. This is why I don't do things. You shoot them down. Oh, you do that? That's you? It's like, well, no. <laughs> Me? Of course not. Traditions? <laughs> Listen, I already have the Christmas miracle of it being 60 degrees Fahrenheit out on December 17th. <laughs> I'm so uh, happy. So I saw, so I've seen so many memes of that. Uh, not None of them good. Listen, uh, the people who keep saying it's the end of the world and yeah. and um, everything like this. You know why? You know why me and my fellow peers are called Gen Z. Why? They don't need any letters after that. Oh gosh. Um, all I know is that yes, I have remembered extremely cold December's. I've ex- I've remembered extremely cold October's, but I've I have had seventy degree Fahrenheit days in December that I can remember. This is getting a little consistent. What are you? Are you, are you gonna? Are you gonna sit here and say, this is this is all, just a coincidence? You know what I, I was thinking it's about. El it. Nino. What? It's El Nino. Is it a kid? No, you don't know El Nino. Uh, it's a weather the pattern. Child? No, it's a weather pattern that happens every. You sound like a. You sound like a person who's. Who, you sound like a. a but I'm not climate change. I'm not. I, I, I'm very answer. much for. P- p- cool. <laughs> Very much for protect the planet, that we are doing bad things, that it, it everything needs to change. I'm I'm totally for that, but I also am not I'm not a catastrophic person. Like oh, it's it's, it's warm out, so 
the world is if, ending. If we were doing any, you know, what? while I was reading these memes of saying, like, I am a catastrophic person, but as I was reading these memes of like kids these days, they're not gonna, they're not gonna, like, oh, you don't we, need we, a sled we, for yeah, Christmas. It was like, what do you want to be when you grow up? It's like you're not growing up. Um, I feel like though at a world level, we are all procrastinating for a big final, or just like a, a big project. And then we're going to, we're getting ourselves to a, the due date's coming up and we're getting ourselves to the point where it's going to be 9 p.m. and we're going to be asking our, our, our parents to be getting us poster board and markers at 9 p.m. It's all like it, it, it's since since growing up, it's just always been like it's been but a, lot of warm. Place, a lot of places are having winter. What? A lot of states are having snow. That's that's not climate change isn't. Across so the one, yeah, one mm-hmm. one year the whole world will will be the Bahamas. It's that that's why that's even like why you know like uh, you would go from hearing coronavirus mm-hmm. to COVID. Yeah, and it's like it, it became more like accurate to what it was. Like the coronavirus is so broad, and I guess global it's reversed, right? Global warming stopped being called global warming because not stopped, right? Because wasn't it was so easy to put, put, poke holes in it. Right. That's what people would say. They'd say, right. global warming, it's so colder. Cold it's like, yeah. Yeah. It's, the problem is by man made, by man themselves has caused climates to change in different areas affecting different things. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's, um, I don't know. I, I, but this is a tough part. It's like you talk about it, talk about it. All you hear is talking about it. You hear the Greta Thunbergs and then you hear the anti people and it's like, it's kind of played out. It's like, do something about it or quit talking about it. Don't talk about it, be about it. How about that? What's yeah. A, one, one, no, you're getting sad? <laughs> <laughs> the polar bears. Polar bears. Um, <clears throat> there's a thing that people say and they say, think about it. Think about it. Think about right? it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Got it. No, I say talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I say that. I say the opposite. I say don't talk about it. Be about it. I say talk about it. And what I'm talking about is God, because when you think about God, um, there was um, uh, I have a friend, and um, they were talking to a coworker, and they said to the coworker that they had a therapist, and the coworker was, "You do," and and he and 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 he said, "Yeah," and they said, "Um, I have a therapist." yeah and and they're like okay and they're like he's like if you don't mind me asking like why he's like sometimes i feel a little sad you know and the person said oh like i have a um i have death anxiety i don't Mm. like to think of loved ones dying so he's like oh and the person was so um overjoyed that he found someone that he he didn't know this about them right and they just are this normal co-worker and they seem they have it all together and friendly and happy and stable and you know so that's why I say talk about it because like take um, God, for instance, you could be your private person and you're praying or you you lean on God or you, you know, um, whatever. Um, I like talking about it. Like, it, you know, we say about normalizing something or something because you might only have an experience of oh nuns or the Pope or, you know, and it's like, you believe in God? Mm. You pray? Yeah. It's like, I didn't think that you were that type of person and and- so if you don't talk about it or like you just said, um, global warming, if you if you want that to change or whatever, if you – yes, you can do things. Like you said, um, go march or yeah. vote for the right person. But it's still not spreading the word, the awareness that yeah. I'm one of those people. Yeah. No, I think there is something to be said about that where, um, you know, maybe with the getting tired oh, – I'm getting tired of it. It's what you're getting tired of is is the soapbox talking, right? Yeah. But I think what is so invaluable and more people should do is the same level talking. Yeah. Like me talking on a soapbox of we need to do that. We need, I don't think we'll do much. Right. But if I'm in circles of just peers that are like me and I'm talking about it, somebody might look at me and, and say, right. Oh, I always thought global warming was a hoax. That's what my right. parents said and yeah. Fox News. And it's like now I'm hearing someone who. I respect as an equal. Right. Not. Yeah. To talk about. Oh, it's 19. Um, To talk about it and not to preach about it. Um, So don't talk about. So don't be about it. Talk about it. Talk about it. I have a. uh, Advent gift. I have an advent gift for you. Nice. 
Marvin K. Mooney, will you please go now? It's Dr. Seuss Friday. The late, great Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss Friday. So that's a book. You'd say, oh, why? Um, why? Why? Uh, you know what I wanted to do and I didn't do it. What's that? What I wanted to do was make um, make a... <laughs> Make a, a manger scene. Um, I don't really remember what they're called. Nativity scene. Yeah. Um, uh, you can, you can, of course, you can have beautiful one. You can have it carved out of olive wood. You can have it ceramics and glass and crystal, or you can just make it out of anything, right? Yeah. And so, in my mind, I was like, oh, you know what? I have a, um, I have a sardine. I have a can of sardines. Yeah. That could be the manger. A little bit taller. You could have these type cans. Ah. The, the wise men could have been the olive oil bottles. Yeah. Uh, this is nothing like that, but that's cool. They, I, I saw, I think it was when I was doing Christian meme reviews, which will come back one day. Um, there was like an, uh, there's a word for like ultra simple. So, yeah. Simplistic or something, but it's not that. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, minimalist? It like, minimalist. Okay. It was a minimalist uh, nativity scene. And it was, it was like kind of like really cool. Like none of the people were people. It was just like little... Right. These blocks. I thought it was dope. Right. So my point being that you, you keep talking. Once you're focused on something, once something becomes your focus, you can see it everywhere. So you can see a manger scene. I think that's called something. In a pantry. And um, everything becomes meaningful to you. The other day you held up three ribbons and um, you crossed them and we saw the Star of David. Yes. And so we said, oh, that's the Trinity. Right? Father, yeah. Son, and Holy Spirit crossed and became the thing. That's because our focus is God, the Trinity, Star of David, right? Yes. If our focus was something else, we you know, say we were um we were so focused on um racehorses, we'd say, Oh, that's that's the triple crown. That's you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, yeah. the preakness and the whatever. So so you could take so you could take a Bible, of course, that's the word of God and 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 you can find meaning in it. But once your focus is on God, you can find it everywhere. You can even find it in a Dr. Seuss book. Oh, okay. So there's a long drawn explanation of what we're doing today. So we're going to, is this going to be a Friday thing? Yeah. Or is this going to be like Friday hymns where we do it once? And We have so many Friday things that we started for one time and never came back to. I'm hoping we can do it. This isn't one of the Dr. Seuss books that they stopped printing, right? I, I don't know. The and forbidden I don't books? care. I don't care. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But I don't even know if we have enough time to read it. Oh, if we you just, don't know maybe how we could just talk about it quickly i can read are you serious yeah we have it. look he has a watch on just like you in the first page uh, yeah and he has a very a slight wrist as well would you stop saying i have small <laughs> wrists it's gonna really hurt my confidence all right whatever this isn't one of the most well-known you know people know no, green eggs and ham it. and stuff but this is this is from 1974 okay, so this is marvin k mooney will you please go now this will uh, slowly get me over my reading anxiety. Oh, good. That's what they used to do in the notebook. Um, really? Noah had a stutter and his dad would make him read poems to him on the porch. Okay. Did you skip a page? Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> the time has come. The time has come. The time is now. Just go. 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 I don't care how. You can go by foot. You can go by cow. Marvin K. Mooney, will you please go now? You can go on skates, you can go on skis, you can go in a hat, but please go, please. I don't care, you can go on my bike, you can go by bike, you can go on a Zyke bike if you like, you can, if you, Dr. Seuss is hard. My mom, you, my mom used to read to us and we, if we picked a Dr. Seuss book, she'd be like, I'm not reading that. She, it, it <laughs> she had like, an accent. Tongue little. tie her, tongue tie her. Should I read like her? If you like, you can go now, you can go in an old blue shoe. Um, so yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> no, that was good. Just go, go, go. Please do, do, do. Marvin K. Mooney, I don't care how. Marvin K. Mooney, we please go now. You can go on stilts. You can go by fish. You can go in a crunk car if you wish. Mm, crunk car. If you wish, you may go by lion's tail or stamp yourself and go by mail. Marvin K. Mooney, don't you know the time has come to go, go, go. Get on your way, please, Marvin K. You might like going on a zumbles eh? You can go by balloon or broomstick, or you can go by camel in a bureau drawer. You love camels. But that didn't rhyme. Maybe, it can, didn't, maybe the rhyme didn't come up yet. You Next can page. go by balloon or a broomstick. You can go by camel in a bureau drawer. You can go by bumble boat 
or jet. I don't care how you go, just get. You're questioning the rhyming ability of Dr. Seuss. I am. Get yourself a gazoom. You can go with a Marvin, Marvin. Oh, you can go with a boom. Marvin, 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 will you leave this room? Marvin K. Mooney, I don't care how. Marvin K. Mooney, will you please go now? I said go and go. I meant the time has come. So Marvin went. A little thing that um, I found out when I looked up that book. Uh, you know, Richard Nixon was yeah. president that had to step down. Yes. Um, at the time, that was Watergate, in the, right? Yeah, the Watergate, Watergate. And that was in the 70s. And um, a, I, a cartoonist or somebody, they changed instead of, uh, they changed it to Richard um, Richard Nixon. Richard Nixon. You got to go, go, go. And, um, and as a matter of fact, I think recently, politically, they were trying to insert politicians names um for them to go 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 but mm. we're not talking about politics because this is croak and crow go and you got something in there that's spiritual well let's not lie to the audience we talked about this for two minutes beforehand because we uh, we were just trying to see if this this idea would even work right and what came out of that is we had two different views on it yeah. which we didn't get to discuss no fully but why don't we? So why don't you go first since you said it first? Okay. So my my take was, um, oh, it's telling the devil or a negative energy to get out of your life. So when you, you know, Satan, get behind me. Martin K. Mooney, get out. Get out. I don't care where you go. I don't care how you get there. And I thought that everyone would think that. But then you had a, a, a And so I'm going to tell thought. you and her why she's wrong. Dun, dun, dun. You know when, uh, you know when. Don't uh, drop my brand new book. I'm dropping it. You know, when, how much um, would you pay for it? Billy Graham. Um, I don't know. It's so hard nowadays. It's like you don't know if someone's like. Eh. It's a hard cover. You know, yeah, that's what, and it's like Dr. Seuss, which is like novelty. Just pick a number. Um, let's say twelve dollars. Ten. OK. All right. So go ahead. Um, you know how Billy Graham holds up the Bible. Right. To show like this is what this is what you should be cheering. Right. I'm going to hold up Dr. Seuss. Book. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to tell you why you're wrong. It's not the devil. And it's not negative. We like Marvin K. Mooney. Okay. You know who Marvin K. Mooney is? No. It's us. I'm going to tell you all a little something. Hopefully I can find pictures so all of this can make sense. Okay. But in all of these, from the beginning page, maybe I'll just show you the beginning page. You see this big hand. Whoever's pointing, you only ever see the hand. Okay. Now, in some Jewish art, which there isn't much because obviously in one of the commandments is there shall be no graven images. Okay. And... um. You will sometimes see, you will frequently see God being referred to as um, a symbol. Okay. Just because I can't write it out. Sometimes, though, you'll just see a hand. Oh, wow. A hand coming out of the clouds. And so my doctoral thesis on why Marvin K. Mooney is being willed by God to go, go, go is by that. And I think what it's saying is... Marvin's not bad. Marvin's not bad. Marvin is us. Each one of us. Because he does look okay. I mean, the, the, he does, the he illustration. Looks little, he looks from the cover. He looks a little stubborn. Oh, uh, like, yesterday. Well, yesterday's podcast, little shout out. But I think he's just sitting here. You know, sometimes you're like, God, what do I do? Give me a sign. Oh, uh, yeah. You're like, clinging oh, when, too long. You're clinging. <laughs> when the time is ready, I'll, I'll, I'll do whatever my not, purpose yeah. in life is. And what is God telling us? It's saying just go. I love it. And, and, and you're w always waiting for the right time. You're waiting, waiting for the, the right way to get where you're going, whether it be literally, figuratively, or spiritually. But it's, say it's saying over and over, just go now. I don't care if it's by train, by plane. And this can be all symbolic to our life's journey to find our purpose. And mm -hmm. what's the first step of, of, of bettering ourselves and finding our purpose in life? It's just by going. First step. The first step is to just start, to the begin. Greatest, what is it? The greatest journey begins with one step or yeah. something like that. Something <laughs> like that. Whatever your endeavor is. If you're saying, what do I... I believe it. How do I do this? How do I do that? It's like, it's not about how... I'll tell you how you start. You just go. And so you all going from this podcast, I'm telling you to just go. Dr. Seuss is telling you, just go. The Lord is telling you, just go. I don't care if it's on a Zomba bike or a crunk junk <laughs> ship, but I said not to throw the new book. 
that's Dr. Seuss Friday. How did you like it? If you think we should do more books of Dr. Seuss and see if there's some spiritual significance, you let us know. <laughs> Capisce? You got it? I got it. Got it? <laughs> got it? All right, guys. We'll be back next Wednesday. Um, enjoy your weekend. If you're doing anything Christmassy, that's great. If you're not, that's great. Maybe have a um, yard sale. If not you post sale, uh, any pictures of your of your weekend escapades, tag Croak and Crow on Instagram, and then it will be on our page. Yes. Peace, love, and prosperity. God bless you all. I hope you didn't crack the book. Oh, 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 oh.